So you guys probably know that Battlefield 1 has some uh, pretty high requirements for PC specs. So you can see the minimum requirements for um, 8 gigabytes of RAM for your system memory and recommended is 16 gigabytes. But what kind of performance difference would they both do? Let's find out. On one of my YouTube video comments, uh, Carlos Bernens uh, brought up the question if he should upgrade from 8GB to 16GB. And I thought that wasn't necessary because of this following article. You can search the web and you can see a lot of articles saying 8GB is more than enough, 16GB in some articles say it's overkill. But it all comes down to it depends on the situation so if you're doing a lot of video editing of course you know more gigabytes of ram would be nice uh and then some games most games require eight gigabyte would be more than enough but as you can see battlefield one if you remember what i've shown you before 16 gigabyte is recommended so what's the difference between the two? Well, it's actually a pretty good difference between the two of them here my laptop came with 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, so for me to get into 8 gigabytes is as easy as me removing one module. And there is two slots there, so I moved that one module itself to the inside slot or the outside slot and found out that the inside slot has a little bit better performance uh, based on some benchmarks. So I ran the Unigine Haven and there is no difference between 8GB or 16GB of RAM at all. But uh, those benchmarks usually use very little system memory. After a fresh restart and all my data logging tool ready to go, it uses 2.3GB before I start Battlefield. The resolution I'll be using will be 1080p resolution and on the advanced settings, it will be all on the low presets. So the map I picked out in Battlefield 1 is the Amiens map and uh, I picked this map because it tends to be a more computer resource intensive map and uh, it's hard to benchmark in Battlefield 1 because in the multiplayer there's so many variables, each player can do so many different things, just blow up buildings, blow a hole in the road, etc. Anyways, in the beginning of the match you'll notice the FPS is usually higher and then mid-match usually when the environment becomes much more destroyed or a lot of more changes has been done to the environment, uh, your FPS is generally uh, a little bit more constant uh, low and uh, that's the number I'm going to use the constant low part um, So I'm not going to use like the you know when the at beginning of the match where you get high FPS I'm going to ignore that number. I'm going to wait for the environment to kind of settle down and uh, use the FPS For the past one minute you've been looking at gameplay with 16 gigabytes of RAM and uh, if You notice the most of the time the average is around 55 FPS For sure it does go up and down from there, but uh, average around 55 FPS so moving down to the 8GB RAM test, what I noticed is for the first minute it plays very similar to 16GB but that's the catch, only for the first minute. And after that it's uh, frame rates did go down and on the 8GB the frame rates tends to range around 45 to 55 FPS. If you notice the 16GB test, there is uh, hardly very few instances that it dropped below 50 FPS. If you often alternate tap off the game, uh, like I do to use other applications, good luck because that was going to take some time for your other applications to load up. Uh, when I have 16 gigabytes, every time I alternate tap, the other application almost opens up instantaneously. But with 8 gigabyte, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a waiting there. Anyways, um, moving on to gameplay, what I noticed is that it's a little bit of like a micro stutter. It's like almost a small laggy visual feeling. Um, it's not as fluid smooth as the 60 uh, FPS or sorry not the 60 FPS the 16 gigabyte gameplay I tried many things to make this work here with 8 gigabytes so I reset the computer um, I shut off all the recording applications the logging tools any monitoring applications uh, still on the busy sections it still goes down to around 45 FPS again so here I want to show you this, uh, the task manager shows that 
with 8 gigabytes of RAM, you have about 900 megabytes of free space left. Um, and I want to show you the chart at the bottom left here. The blue line that goes up and down in the chart, that is the CPU utilization. And as I mentioned, Amin's map it does use a lot of CPU power. Uh, my i7-6700HQ is actually considered a higher end or higher performance uh, CPU for a laptop series right now. And still, yeah, utilization is pretty high. So here we got this 16 gigabyte setup here, um, and you see memory use is 8 gigabytes. That includes so all the similar monitoring applications going in the background there. And anyways, what I want to point out is the memory usage is 8 gigabytes in total. But if you recall the other setup, it's 6.8 gigabytes. So what happened to that 1.2 gigabytes is missing? Well, I can kind of explain there. When the game, when you're using a game, your game has the most priority over the RAM. Uh, however, when you alternate tap, when I mentioned just now that the uh, performance is really slow in the applications when I alternate tap off the game, that is because, well, firstly, your RAM has to put the data of the game back in your hard disk drive and search the hard disk drive to load up the information on the apps that you alternate tap and you want to use back into your RAM again. So it's a lot more work. Uh, that's why if you have 16 gigabyte setup, you notice once you alternate tap or use, you can open a lot more applications uh, with minimal delay. So to sum it up, between 8 and 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, you probably have a difference of 5 to 10 FPS. It is something that I definitely noticed. And uh, if you have no choice but to run 8 gigabytes, it's not the end of the world, but you're not getting the best performance out of your computer. Uh, everyone's experience is going to be a bit different, so don't come looking for me if you don't get exactly the same gains or differences. Uh, this is from my experience, and uh, hopefully this will help you folks in uh, deciding on getting more RAM or not. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have yourself a good one.